Good morning everyone! <laughs> it's been a really long time since I talked to you guys and I got to say I really miss it. I kind of already said it on my Norwegian channel. I created a Norwegian channel for those of you that don't know. It's basically about me talking Norwegian and being my crazy weird self. And this channel, like creating a whole new channel and not really advertising it. Obviously Maserly has been like growing and growing for a really really long time. But growing something from the bottom up again was really satisfying and it kind of got me my drive back to do YouTube again. And why did I need to get my drive back in the first place? Well, good question. So basically what I said in my Norwegian video was that it took a really long time to actually get settled and get into everything that is my life here. And I've noticed that you guys probably didn't enjoy those videos that I made in that period as much as the videos before because I was in a really confusing period of my life and I didn't really talk about it to you guys, but I feel like you guys really deserve to know why I wasn't being like my fully normal self. Like in late November, early December I finally felt like I settled in and I finally got my drive back to do different things and just study. I'm back to my normal self, um, I'm back to having free time and ideas and also my accent has finally like settled in a way and I know it's really confusing. It's kind of a mix between like British and American so I don't know what happened there but the thing is I'm surrounded by Brits all day. I just realized I totally forgot to introduce myself so hi I'm Maddie. you could call me Maserly, I live in London and I'm famous for cleaning my room and giving young girls advice on how to thrive. Today I'll be doing one of the themes for my most viewed video ever but with a twist because I'm currently in my dorm room. Welcome to my clean my room video we're gonna be cleaning up this whole mess today. Pause! Okay, this is Maddie from the future, so don't look at my room, it's not clean. What? You guys know that I love making organizational and clean your room videos, however, do you still love them? It's a new year, you guys might not be into clean my room videos anymore. And the only way I can actually know this is by you telling me and thumbing this video up. So, yes. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. As you can tell, my room is an absolute horrible shape at the moment. I have no idea what's going on here, to be honest. It was clean yesterday. This is a uh, come see come sa. It's, uh, it's a bit messy, but it could be fixed pretty easily, I think. This is, uh, you know, this, we should try to put something in the suitcase, I feel. This is actually okay. I need to make my bed. I need to fix up this area a bit. Also, this area, I feel like we should just fix up a bit, maybe. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is put on this baby. The vacuum and vacuum the floors because there's a bit of like biscuits remains on the floor so I'm gonna like try to get them up and one of my tips for cleaning a room is always listening to good music so we're gonna go into Spotify to my playlist called Current Vibes and we're gonna play my playlist <laughs> Now I have cleaned my bed area. I've also started on my desk area. Um, however, what I saw is that, oh, wait. I need to put this on my bed. Okay, nice. So basically what I saw with um, my clothes was that it's basically filling up my entire closet. And what I need to do is to put some of my clothes in my suitcase. It's winter is over in London and you don't really need that many like really really warm clothes anymore. I'm just gonna put every single clothing piece that I'm gonna put in my suitcase on my bed. Maybe I just bring down all my jackets so you guys can see what I have because I have quite a lot and I don't really need all of them. Oh it's so clean. So for summer and spring I definitely need this jacket. You wear like this. I think it's quite cool. Green jacket. 
Yep, Saving You Too. And this jacket, this bag, I love it, it's colourful. I think this scarf is a bit too Christmassy to be honest. What if it's sometimes a bit too cold? What am I gonna do? I think I'll keep this for now. Oh uh, no, maybe not. Okay, decided I'm gonna put this in my suitcase. Okay, well, ta-da! Isn't it so much prettier than the ones before? I think this is much better to be honest. Now it's time to bring my suitcase down. All right, now that the clothing situation is solved, let's move on to this little area. Um, it is a bit messy due to all the pictures that I've put up. First of all, lunchbox needs washing. Now the lunchbox also needs washing. Medication, where should I put this? This liver pate I can remove. Shout out to all my Norwegians who love liver pate as much as I do. I have a full bag and the full uh, drawer for liver pate. Yep, it's an obsession, I know. This box really matches my room. You guys have heard this idea from me before. Of. It's basically about putting um, things you don't really want to see in shoe boxes or other boxes you get as gifts or similar. So we're just gonna put stuff that I need to hide in this box. Ta -da. Tell us about this item. For a while, my room used to be super humid. Then winter came around and they turned on the radiator and it became extremely dry. But I did get this humidifier, but I don't really need it right now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just like store it. Guys, take a look at the desk area. Doesn't it look so much better than it did before? So now we have this area cleaned up. We have this area cleaned up, this whole area cleaned up. And this was kind of clean room before of. We are missing this area, these drawers, they're a bit unorganized to be honest. This area behind here and the closet area. Really messy, as you can tell. So right now I have yoga in my building. So I'm just gonna go down and do some yoga and bring you guys along. That was probably someone reminding me to do yoga. I'll see you guys later. Outfit of the day is this fabulous like two-piece yoga attire. Lara, <laughs> Roman. Okay, so I just finished yoga. Um, I like doing yoga on Sundays. We have this like weekly thing here. It's really amazing, but I'm just gonna eat something quick. I mentioned this in my Norwegian video as well, but basically in the beginning when I came here and if you see my like my two first videos from London, I went from working out like four times a week to not working out at all, which is really really strange and really bad for my well-being because I felt like I couldn't really do everything that I was supposed to do. I, I couldn't fit everything into my schedule and I was just like, I don't know, I felt really bad because of that. So now I'm really happy that I'm back to like actually making time for working out and eating somewhat healthy. Something I did during Christmas break was that I went with my family to Ikea and I got these wonderful things and we're gonna just use this to organize my like outerwear. So I de kind of made this box that I had already and I just put all the stuff laying around in here and then bring this in. The rest of the space can be used for bags. Guys, you remember how the drawer looked? I know it's not perfect, but you could tell that it's definitely more organized than it was. A quick look at this area. I mean, it is quite clean. It is the cleanest that you could possibly get, I believe. This could probably be placed here. This could be turned around a bit, like that. Now we just need to like clean this up. Out of the shower and basically we're gonna try to tackle this 
area. I literally have no space in my room for towels. I've been hanging them like here and they get like a nice warm um, feel from the radiator that's right here. So let's just first try to fold them up. So the only place I could really like fit these towels is in the drawer under my bed. It's the only place they can be out of sight, out of mind. Lastly, we have this little thing. It's currently hanging here, but I think we can actually move it. That's better. Now it's like kind of out of sight, I guess. And when you walk in now, you can't even see that it's there anymore, which is really, really good. Let's maybe fold these up. Since these shelves are really, really thin and really small, I put my most worn items in the front. So when they need washing, I'll have the rest of the sweaters to choose from that are in the back. I'm gonna try to fix up this area a bit because it is a bit messy. like really ugly shaped skirts I love them but they always end up in the bottom of a closet so that's the reason why I hang them up on these hangers so that's why I hang them up on hangers so that they're not laying in the bottom of a closet taking up space and they're also displayed because they are really pretty skirts okay so now that that's done only thing we have left is this area. You guys! This took a long while, but I did manage to clean my room with the help of you guys, so thank you so much. I really hope this video gave you a few tips on how to clean a really small space and how to organize if you have a lot of stuff like I do and it's just filling up the whole room. Also, I didn't go out and get anything for this video. All I did was use stuff that I already had in my room. And I think that's really good advice if you're on a college budget or a university budget and you don't want to use unnecessary amounts of money on organizational things. Literally, the only thing I got for this video kind of was the organizational bins that I have in my um, drawers. But I did get them for my family over Christmas because they know I'm an organizing freak so technically I didn't get it for this video I have some really 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 exciting news on my Instagram at this moment and you YouTube people will get to know it really really soon so I'm super excited to share with you guys but if you want to be one of those people who get the information really early on then head over to my Instagram at Maisley Official and go check out the post and the stories and everything and yeah I'll see you guys very soon bye everyone